Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel for another episode. Um, if everything goes into plan, you guys are going to see this video the same day that I film it for once. I actually have a free Sunday. Everything's going good. Everything's going great. And uh, you're probably wondering why I'm standing in the hallway. It's because I finally had time to clean out the room. And I'm going to show it to you. We're going to do a big reveal. But we got that. I sold some stuff over the weekend and kind of show you the plan for this weekend. Uh, what I'm going to do tonight while you're watching this. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So let's show you inside the brand new room on the screen right now are pictures of what it looks like before I got to it this morning, before I set up my new shelves. So let's uh, let's walk in there and see it. All right, you've seen the pictures. You know what it used to like. It's time to take a look at what it actually looks like. And would you look at that? There's some floor. There's more floor. Got to close the door so the dog doesn't get in here because he's not allowed. And then look at that. We got some organization going on. A desk that I can actually work at now. Uh, shelves. Shelves. That's a mess, but we're going to deal with that later. I will address it whenever I go around here. Would you look at that? It's looking good, and I'm very happy. Like, walking in here pleases me now. I can't wait for two weeks from now when it's a mess again, and I just have to do this all over. So let's kind of take a look. So this shelf you all know and love. You've all been accustomed to that. I bought another set, but I decided to split it up in two, as you can see, because there made no sense for it to stack five high over here again. It just didn't make sense. Uh, plus, the totes wouldn't have gone on top of it, and the totes would have had to awkwardly sit over there. On the floor so you know whatever anyway so the plan for this shelf is this shelf is stuff that needs to be listed this shelf is stuff that is currently listed obviously that's not true right now because these shoes aren't listed the wee boards aren't listed i don't have any boxes for them i have photos of those i just can't find a good box i was going to put them in a large flat rate and i was like that's way too expensive uh these boxes right now are just too big i don't know what i'm going to do with them i'm probably going to throw them away in all honesty i hate to but they're just too big and i'm never going to use them i could break them down but i don't know we'll see that's another box filled with some like packing paper and stuff like that we got the guitar hero guitars over here the pink floyd poster still over here i just got to find big enough pieces of cardboard so that i can actually list that um board games are still hanging out up here we got bubble wrap and the blue tote my walmart boxes which i know some people don't like that i do I understand, but I'm going to keep doing it because it's a lot cheaper that way. Uh, here are some, these right here, if I can grab a hold of one, are just flat pieces of cardboard. Unfortunately, they're too small for the Pink Floyd thing, but what are you going to do? Uh, a couple large flat rate boxes sitting right there. Board games. Down here we got, these video games are all listed, so I guess they should go on that shelf technically. That's just a box. Um, some little GameCube backpacks. This is all electronic stuff that needs to be listed. I want to get that keyboard on there. I just don't have a box for it. Oh, by the way, these are all those alarm clocks that I bought. They're on eBay and they're in their boxes. So they just need to sell. Moving down. This is the shelf I'm planning on tackling next. In here, we got all those records. That's the plan for tonight is to get those some of those records listed auction style. And then this is just a bunch of cords that go to video game consoles and stuff like that, and I'll continue on that in a minute. And down there are more board games. As you can tell, I'm procrastinating the board games. So that's that shelf. We'll move on over to my working desk. I forgot to get something out of my car. I have a little, like, tray in my car that I found at Menards for, like, two bucks. It's long, it's yellow, and I was going to put my tape gun, my box cutter, my markers and pens and stuff, and my little tape. I got another little tiny tape measure, but I've already misplaced it. Don't tell anyone. Um... So they can all sit in that tray. This currently has receipts in it. Uh, this is my camera that I use to take my photos. And my little food scale that's a lot cheaper than an actual scale. But I'm going to have to upgrade eventually. Down here is a tote full of video games that I got from my dad. Whenever me and dad used to flip. I don't know if they work or not. Putting two to two together yet. That's what the cords are for. We're going to test them. Um, if not, I have basically all these consoles in working form in my personal collection. So I'll be able to test the cords even if these don't work. And I would like to get those listed, so I need to know if I can sell them parts only, or if working without cords, or with cords if I have the right ones. And that's a good tote full of money right there. Same thing with that. If I if none of these work, and all these cords do work on their own, like that's a good box of money. Move over. Packing peanuts, some bubble wrap. The sad L.L. Bean sweater that I keep to remember. 
Always check. There's some giant holes in the sleeve. Always check. Moving over here to the other shelf down here, we got all my priority boxes. And this box right here are my uh, poly mailers. Got some envelopes and some small flat rates, medium flat rates. Uh, down here, these ones are the big board game. Large um, flat rate boxes that I got, hoping that the guitars would fit in them, but they don't. And now I'm stuck with them because I have no need for them. But Lucas, why don't you just put all your board games in the board game box? Because most of them won't fit. They're like, a lot of these are square or just too small. And plus, it's a lot cheaper for the seller or for the buyer if I just wrap them in paper. And that's a risk that they might get damaged wrapping paper, but it's a lot cheaper and they will sell a lot easier. I guarantee it. Moving on up, all the clothes that are not in a tote have not been listed yet. I've had these since Martin Luther King Jr. Day, and they haven't been listed. I just haven't had time or the space, but now I do. Uh, the blue tote that's underneath is filled with stuff that has been listed. The black tote is empty, but once this stuff gets listed, it's going in the black tote. The black tote's on bottom because it has a lid. The blue tote does not, so it would sit easier. So yeah, here's where I'm going to take all my photos. Here's the, the room where I can actually move around. I can go to the desk a little bit. I do stream, like, video games and stuff on the side. That's why it's kind of awkwardly laid out. Um, and that's why there's a TV here instead of another monitor. I got a really nice speaker system that I picked up at an auction for, like, two bucks. I think when I looked it up, it was worth, like, 250 It works like a charm. It's amazing. Um, Boston's the brand on it, I think. Down there's my printer, which once I run out of ink, I'm going to be upgrading to another printer. Trash can. Fun fact. Trash can. Bucket. $3. Tiny trash can that's even smaller, $12. So I got the bucket. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the layout of the room now. I hope I hope you like it, and I hope it stays clean. I hope it stays clean. So I'm going to switch back to the desk now, and we'll go over some stuff that I sold this week. Also, I figured since every reseller I see on YouTube likes to show off their dog, I'd show off my dog. I just caught him chewing on my fiancé's flip-flop. So, now he's ignoring me. Spyro! Hey! Spyro! This is Spyro. He's part beagle. Mostly beagle. Part of something else. Don't know. Haven't figured it out yet. Those are my feet. That's gross. Can you sit? Spyro, sit! Nope, he's not gonna do it. He's not gonna show off for the camera. He probably knows I don't have a treat. Spyro! Sit! Good boy. He already lays down, because he knows what's coming. Can you roll over? Can you roll over for the people? Roll over! Good boy, I'll give you an actual treat now. Anyway, that's my dog Spyro. All right, everybody, I just wanted to take some time to go over some of the stuff that I sold over the weekend. I kind of went like a week without selling anything, and then this weekend I've sold five shirts, which kind of blew my mind. I didn't expect it. Um, first off, we have this Tommy Hilfiger red and blue striped polo. Um, I figured this would sell a lot quicker, and I figured it'd sell for a lot more. I ended up taking a best offer on it for $11.45. Um, I should note that all this stuff, like I said, is paid for. Um, I made my profit. Ooh, those pictures were fuzzy. Um, every, it's all paid for. So um, I'm okay with taking some offers, plus I'm okay with moving it. And another thing, all these shirts that sold were out of the original lot that I bought uh, back at the end of 2018. So that was really good uh, to see them finally move. So yeah, I sold this for $11.45. Up next is this the Walt Disney Hilton Head Resort Polo, um, as you can see, it's got the embroidery on there. I took a best offer of $10 on this. I originally countered for 12 and then she let it expire, and I said, you know what, just take the $10, get it out of here. Um, so yeah, I still made money on it at $10, not as much, but like I said, it's all paid for and it's all profit anyway, so yeah. Finally sold the Larry Mahan, Mahan uh, pink plaid pearl snap shirt. Uh, Took a best offer of $12 on this one. Um, this one was getting a lot of looks, so I was a little hesitant on accepting the 12 and kind of letting it sit out. But again, I had the offer. I wanted to move it um, and try and get some of these shirts out of here. And plus, I've had it since, like I said, the end of 2018. So getting it out of here was a good choice in my book. Sold my other LuLaRoe shirt. I originally tried to package this with the first one that originally sold, but she didn't want it. I took a best offer of $12 on this one, and super lightweight, so it went really easily first class. Uh, and then lastly, this hasn't sold yet, 
Um, but it's at auction. It does have one bid for fifteen dollars, which is weird because I've had it listed for twelve. Uh, trying just trying to get rid of it because it was getting so many views. And I said, you know what? We're gonna move it to auction. We're gonna knock up the price a little bit again and see what happens. But it's still got two and a half hours left as of recording this, and it's currently got one bid for fifteen dollars. But it'll be out of here, and I'm excited to finally sell something LL Bean. Um, man, the LL Bean stuff. They get a lot of views, but they just don't want to buy them. So that's everything that I sold. Let's talk about my plans for tonight while you guys are watching this. So I've had this huge stack of 45 records for the longest time, and I think it's finally time to start moving through them. Um, so tonight I'm going to list auction. All these are going to get listed auction style. I've got these two uh, Jerry Lee Lewis Sun records. I don't think any of them are the big popular songs or anything like that, but they should still go. And like I said, this is stuff... I think this is stuff that I got from my dad, if I remember right, from long ago. Like, we probably bought this stuff, like, maybe two years ago and just never got around to listening to it. Um, I've also got four, I believe, yeah, four Johnny Cash Sun Records. Uh, Folsom Prison's one of them. Next in line. I forgot to remember to forget 82 and then I've got this one other that's not a sun but it's ring of fire so I'm just gonna throw it in and then we got one one two three four five Elvis picture sleeve records I originally had these listed buy it now on all of them and they were getting views they just wouldn't sell uh, I sold one of them actually one of them got bought and then I also have this uh, it's just a sleeve but I'm just gonna throw it in um, like I said, they weren't selling by now, but I guarantee this stuff will sell. I sold 12 Elvis records, auction style, with no picture sleeves, and they sold for like 30 bucks. So I'm hoping I can at least get 15 to 20 out of those. And then lastly, I got a stack of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 Beatles 45 records, including this... Uh, picture sleeve one. I thought about listing this one separately and I said, you know what, it's just going to be way easier if I just lump it in with all the others. There's a few Apple ones in here, a lot of them are capital, but we got like, I want to hold your hand, come together, uh, ain't she sweet, what's this one, touch me and power to the people, actually that's John Lennon, still, it'll go in there, it'll be fine, something and come together again. Uh, Day Tripper, I want to hold your hand again, a couple duplicates, but let it be, so I've got some good ones in here, this one should sell for quite a bit, this stack, and then the picture sleeve is eight days a week, and I don't want to spoil the party, so yeah, I want to get those listed, and I think that'll be good, I'm also going to take the three Guitar Hero guitars that I have left on eBay, and I'm going to switch those to auction style and get them out of here, that's what I would like to do. Um, I did sell one of the guitars, I, I think I said that, um, I sold one of the guitars for 60 bucks, and we kind of have an issue with that right now, um, I, the tracking number said it was delivered on February 15th, but on February 21st, today is February 24th, yeah, February 24th, on February 21st, I got a message from the buyer saying, I never got this item, and I was like, the tracking number says it was delivered to the address listed, um, and he said, if you, if it comes back to you, let me know. I'm like, I'll keep an eye out for it is what, is what my response was. But the tracking number said it was delivered. So I have a hard time believing that they don't have it. So it also means if they do open a case against me, I should be in good shape because I provided tracking. I bought the label through eBay. It says it was delivered. So here's hoping on that. So yeah, hopefully I have all these records. I'm going to, this is where the video is going to end. I hope you enjoyed this video. It felt good to make. It felt good to make one rather quickly compared to the last few times. And hopefully next week we have an auction or uh, something where we can go out and buy something because it'll be March, which means I'm allowed to buy stuff again. Because as you know, I said I wasn't going to buy anything in February, and I've stuck to it. Obviously, my sales have been down uh, because I've been so busy. I've sold oh one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've sold nine items in February for close to a hundred bucks, I think, um, which isn't great, but 
what are you going to do? One of those was a $60 Guitar Hero guitar, and the other was a $50 Space Jam sweater. That's really carrying it. But we're moving shirts, we're, we're still selling stuff, and we're going to pick up because yard sale season's right around the corner, and I think that's where I'm really going to thrive this year. So, yeah, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, make sure you like this video, click subscribe, and uh, I'll see you all in the next one.